Please welcome Mr. Bob Feinberg, founder and chairman of the board, Montclair Film, and also vice president and general counsel, WNET. So you know this place, huh? I've been here. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, good to see you, Bob. Montclair Film, huge, going into its eighth year. Was, quote, just the film festival, now it's so much more. Yeah, that's true. We started eight years ago as an annual film festival, uh, which grew year by year. Great acceptance in the community and beyond. Uh, about three years ago, uh, our friends at Investors Bank uh, donated a 6,000 square foot 1920s bank building right on Bloomfield Avenue in Montclair. Gorgeous. Uh, beautiful building. We um, turned it into the Investors Bank Film and Media Center. Uh, what was on there? We, we rebuilt the building. So we launched a capital campaign, which we've just completed $3.5 million. Mm. Um, to build out a 65-seat multi-purpose cinema, um, an education complex where we do classes, uh, and administrative office space for our year-round staff. Because we've really become a year-round arts organization, largely thanks to the building. Right. Uh, we do classes for kids, adults, in filmmaking, improv, comedy. Storytelling. Storytelling. Push the storytelling thing. So, so we started out uh, with a vision about helping people tell their stories. Uh, film, of course, uh, but we've grown. So uh, now we have uh, a podcasting studio uh, in our facility where we teach podcasting classes and where people can come record podcasts. We do live stand-up story slams. Uh, we invite people to come tell their stories. Uh, one night, the theme was cancer survivors, talking right. about how they survived that horrible disease. One night was, the first night was my first time. It was the first time we'd ever done it. We asked people right. to talk about the first time they did something, don't smile yes. like that. The first no, time it's the first time anything. Anything. Uh, uh, one of my most favorites, because I've got college age kids. That's right. We had high school kids come read their college essays. Get uh, out of here. It was fantastic. That's fabulous. Really great stuff. So it's so far beyond the great film festival that started eight years ago. Well, it, it, it really, it's grown. We've been, um, we've been embraced by the community. We've been embraced by the, the film industry, uh, by filmmakers and by uh, actors who come uh, year round. Mm -hmm. uh, last night we did a screening uh, of a great doc about uh, Jimmy Breslin yeah. and Pete Hamill. I've heard about this. Uh, What's called, it called? It's called Deadline Artists. It's going to air on HBO uh, in the new year. And you guys had a screening. We did a we did a members only screening. We have wow. we have so many people have joined to become members. The members only screening sold out. Literally every seat in the theater filled. Uh, the three uh, directors, John Block, uh, uh, John Alter, and right. Steve McCarthy. Jonathan Alter, uh, yeah, our good friend John Alter, who's a wonderful writer and also an NBC. Exactly. They, they were there. We had um, uh, we had a great Q and A afterwards. So we're doing things like that year round, and then come May, May 3rd to May 12th, 2019, festival. the festival. So what started out eight years ago as about five days and 45 films, 7,500 people. This spring, it'll probably be about 200 films, 200. Uh, uh, 10 days. Uh, we're on, on track, probably about 30,000 people will come to see, to see the films during the, during the festival. So it's all good, it's great. I know it's hard to get big names, right? Well, but, you know, I don't know. My wife and I couldn't get there that night, but the word on the street is that Stephen Colbert, uh, who has been very supportive, his wife Evie, and you working together on this, I, I, I guess it was a no-name actress that you... <laughs> she's going to be... I think she's, she's got a future uh, in front of her. Uh, Meryl Streep. Mer oh, that's uh, it, Meryl Streep. Uh, came and uh, 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 Put did, this a, out here, guys. did right. a conversation. So, uh, as you said, Evie uh, is one of our original board members. She's the president of the board. Right. Um, Stephen has been incredibly supportive. Every year, um, he's done uh, an event for us, which is, which is our gala. So, no uh, linen napkins, no Great. rubber chickens. Stephen does a conversation. I was there for Jon Stewart. Uh, and also, he had um, our friend, does the other, the, the, the political show, stop, help me on this. Uh, uh, John Oliver. It's fabulous. Uh, Jimmy Fallon. The place is packed. J.J. Abrams, Samantha Bee. This year, 
uh, uh, Meryl Streep. So we're, we do this uh, at NJPAC uh, in the 3,000 seat uh, Prudential Hall. You've been there. Sold obviously. out. Beautiful venue, sold out. <laughs> um, and, you know, this is, this is really one of the great things about Montclair and a great thing about the film festival. We bring out people, Stephen, pretty unique. But there's there's tremendous talent, sure. uh, and we've we've been able to, with the help of other sponsors, so Audible sponsors our conversation series. This past festival, Stephen sat down, and talked with Ethan Hawke, uh, talked with Rachel Weisz, um, talked with Bill Nye, the Science Guy. Great, great, great stuff. Let me ask you, Bob, because I remember when you were starting this, me, you, John Servideo, just sitting, you were talking, and you had this idea. Really, what do you want to do, Bob? Did you imagine? This is what it would become because it's still the story is still being told. Did you see this? You got a minute left. Go ahead. No, no, I, I never thought it, it would grow as quickly uh, and and be so uh, embraced by the community. I, I was afraid I was going to have to go back to people and say, "I'm sorry, we tried. It didn't. You know, <laughs> it's a good idea. It didn't work. It's incredible. It's really it's amazing. It's a great story. Uh, one person with a lot of other people. Great idea. Great community celebrating film storytelling and keeping it alive. Bob, thank you so much. Thank Proud you, of everything Steve. you're doing. Thanks. Thanks. Check us out one-on-one -on -one from the Tisch WNET studio right here in the heart of Lincoln Center. Thanks. Thank you, Bob. I work for Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, and I'm a catastrophic case manager. I'm a nurse. I feel a sense of responsibility to each and every member that I speak with on the phone. I know where they live. I know their towns. I know the hospitals they go to. A lot of times I know their physicians. and. Um, I love helping people at very difficult times of their lives. The job I have now is the perfect job for me. I think I was born a nurse. Also brought to you by Hackensack Meridian Health. And by PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities.